Windows 11 is here. After much rumour and anticipation over the last few months, launch day has finally arrived. And it's fair to say that here at Scan, we're excited for what the next generation of the world's most popular desktop operating system has to offer. So let's take a closer look at what's new. The first thing you'll notice is that there's a fresh new look to the start screen and menu. You're presented with more muted colours and pastel shades, giving it a softer feel across the board. Perhaps most significantly, the start button and application icons are now centred on the screen. But whereas previous changes to the start button provoked much dissatisfaction, this feels progressive but in a familiar way, more akin to what we're used to seeing on our smartphone screens. The windows themselves and the icons within menus are also gentler and softer with rounded edges and icons appearing in a grid format rather than a list, which makes the look and feel visually symmetrical and easy on the eye, again reminiscent of a smartphone. Although some visual elements of the new OS experience may take a little getting used to, it's nowhere near as much of a change as in some of the previous generations of Windows. Now, when it comes to new features, there's a whole host to choose from, but we're just going to touch on those that we feel are most significant. Firstly, there's Snap Layouts, a flexible and intuitive way to format your various windows side by side on your screen or screens, offering either four or six tile options depending on your screen size. It allows you to quickly and simply arrange your application's windows into the most productive layout for you. Snap Groups then allows you to easily return to previous chosen snap layouts and a new docking sub-feature retains your layout when you undock and redock to an additional monitor or monitors. Secondly, a new feature called Desktops enables switching between multiple desktop screens where different applications can be open, whether this is for work, at home, or especially for games. Each of your desktops can have a unique wallpaper too, allowing you to add that personal touch and they can be reordered and organised simply by dragging the thumbnail. Not specifically new is Game Mode. First introduced in Windows 10, the Game Mode feature when enabled reduces background apps to free up the CPU for games. The setting worked in some cases but only really made a difference in a handful of games or where a user could benefit from a tiny bit more CPU performance. With Windows 11 though, Microsoft has made some tweaks to Game Mode that will now allow the setting to further limit background app activity and dedicate more resources to games. Also, HDR is another feature we're glad to see get added. Windows 10 itself wasn't really fully HDR compatible, so turning the feature on to get the benefit with real HDR content then resulted in a less than perfect desktop experience. With Auto HDR, Windows 11 automatically adds HDR to SDR content seamlessly, so you get a much more consistent experience. The next feature we'll look at is the Microsoft Store, as this has been upgraded with a new look in line with the rest of Windows 11, and enhanced app categorization and search capabilities to make finding what you're looking for easier and far more intuitive. There's also added support for a wider array of apps, including support in the future for Android apps that can be run natively in Windows 11. And the last new feature we'll mention is the bundling of Microsoft Teams within Windows 11, including Teams Chat. This enables far more collaborative communication on a single platform rather than giving standalone applications. Given we're all more accustomed to online collaboration in these recent times, this could be a significant benefit for Windows 11 users. Alongside these great new productivity features, there's also a whole range of additional security enhancements too, making Windows 11 the most secure Microsoft desktop OS yet. These include the latest device encryption, firewall and network protection, parental controls, Windows Hello facial recognition software, and additionally for Windows 11 Pro, information protection and BitLocker encryption. However, enabling this level of security relies on secure boot and trusted platform module or TPM technology, both now required to install and run Windows 11. This means that you'll have to check your system's compatibility to run Windows 11 if you're looking to run the new OS on older hardware. Microsoft has provided a compatibility checker app that you can run on your system to see if Windows 11 will run without issues. So there you have it, Windows 11 is available now in either home or pro versions. 
If you already have a genuine copy of Windows 10, then you can upgrade for free as long as your hardware is compatible. Should you need an upgrade, then there are a few options for you. You can visit the SCAN website to get all of the latest components and build your own system. Or if you want to make the process a bit easier, then we also offer a range of 3XS bundles where our expert team has pre-assembled and thoroughly tested each component so you can just insert it into your chosen case and not have to worry about issues like component incompatibility, BIOS setup or XMP profiles etc. And of course if your PC is looking a bit long in the tooth and needs a complete refresh then we also offer a full range of 3XS PCs for all uses like gaming, video and audio production, graphical and 3D design and anything else you can possibly think of. You can select one of our pre spec PCs from the website or even configure your own specification in our 3XS configurator. There's also of course our 3XS custom shop where you can work with us to add some personal touches and really make it your own. Now, we'd love to know what you think about Windows 11, so be sure to let us know in the comments. And it'd be really lovely if you gave us a like and subscribe for the latest videos.